log of 1 plus x squared. So once we have the limit and we are given the interval, we can always determine the delta x and xi and f of xi. I didn't have to do anything else. I just uh, needed to identify the function. That's all I really needed to do. So the function is obviously x natural log of 1 plus x squared and of course dx. There is no integral, definite or not, or indefinite, without the symbol and without the x or dt or dv, whatever the variable is in the problem. Very good. Will you need to choose anything else from 5.2? If you'd like to move on to 5.3 to see what we have in there. Five dot three has nineteen questions. So let's see if I can help you with anything here in five dot three. Anything from 5.3? Uh, number... 12. Very good. Number 12. Let's take a look. You want me to copy your problem or my problem? Uh, your problem. 0 to pi over 4, 8, secant squared t, dt. Uh, we know one of the properties that if uh, there is a constant in front of the function, the constant can be put in front from 0 to uh, pi over 4, secant squared t, dt. And now all I have to do is remember what function prime is secant squared. Once I have that, I will plug in pi over 4 and subtract when I plug in 0. So which function prime is secant squared? Well, that will be tangent. So tangent t prime is secant squared t. We leave the 8 outside, let it wait. When I plug in pi over 4, I get 1 minus. When I plug in 0, I get 0. So the answer is 8. Let's see what else we should uh, work on from 5.3. Uh, number five. From the same section? Yeah, same very, section. Very good. Let's look at number five. Let me go back. Number five, number ten, six, and five. I see it. Okay, in this case, we are given y. So this is five. Very good. Good pick. y equals the integral from seven. Notice that this is a number, but the top limit of integration is a function. The square root of 6t plus the square root of t dt. Here we are not asked to evaluate anything. We're asked to find the derivative. So we're asked to differentiate the side and differentiate the side. When I differentiate an integral, the integral goes away as long as this is a constant, right? Uh, the integral goes away, the dt goes away, and t is replaced 
by tangent x. So the answer is the square root of 6 tangent x plus the square root of tangent x. If this were just plain x, I would have had x and x, and then x prime would, would have been 0. I'm sorry, well, x prime is 1, so that I don't have to write it. But now, this is not plain x. It's the inner function. So I have to differentiate that. So I have to multiply by secant squared x. Because tangent prime is secant squared. And this is the derivative of this function given in a form of an integral. Oops, oops, oops. Any questions? Is this better? Is this clear? Good big thing. Anything else from this section? We move on to the next section, 5.4. Okay, anything else from this section or we move on? Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Okay, so we move on to 5.4? Yeah. Okay, very good. Is this clear? Yeah, that's clear. So if this is x, you don't write anything. You just replace t by x, the square of t becomes the square of x. But as long as this is a function, then you have to multiply by the inner function prime. We are using the chain rule. Anything else? Okay, for that five that four. Uh, number ten. Number five seven, four. eight, nine, ten. Very good. So we are asked good pick the integral from zero to pi from 4 e to the x plus 4 sine x dx. Perfect. Constant outside. And now I'm asking myself which function prime is e to the x. Well, it's e to the x. Plus, constant doesn't mean anything. It's a con fa factor in there. Which function prime is sine x? It's negative cosine x. So when I differentiate this, I get that. When I differentiate this, I get that. So then now, from 0 to pi. OK, so I plug in pi. Weird, in a way, but that's it. OK, and then when I plug in pi, this will be negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 times 4 will be positive 4. Now, minus, in parentheses, when I plug in 0, 
e to 0 is 1, so I have 4. And then when I plug in 0, this becomes 1. But 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 4 will be negative 4. This happens to be 0. So the final answer is 4 e to pi plus 4. Is this okay? Yeah, that's great. Good. Anything else from this section? Uh, number 14. Number 14. And then um, after class, I'm going to uh, post a previous test. Of course, it's not going to be web assign type of test. That's why I want to okay. go over all questions that you may have in web assign. Uh, you said 14, correct? Yes. Perfect, 14. So the integral from 0 to the square of 3 over 2 from dr over the square root of 1 minus r squared. Again, I have to ask myself which function prime is 1 over the square root of 1 minus r squared. And there is a function that we know. In case you remember, tell me. If not, I'll tell you what it is. Which function prime? There is a function that we differentiate to get 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. In case you remember, that is arc sine. x, of course. So this will be arc sine r from 0 to the square root of 3 over 2. So now I have to determine which angle has, uh, has sine the square root of 3 over 2. And that is pi over 3. Minus, when I plug in 0, which angle has sine 0? That's 0. So this is pi over 3. Next question. Anything from 5.4, from 5.5, anything you want. It's your day. I'm looking in the meantime for the test so I can post it. Don't mind me, I'm just waiting for you. Uh, how about question 18 on uh, 5.4? 18 it is. Okay. And 5.4. Eighteen, and in my case, it says uh, at time t equals zero, population two thousand. That's an ordered pair. Is that the one that we? I'm look, am I looking at the correct one? Yes, that's the correct one. Okay. So, and its rate of growth. So the rate of change is one thousand. 4 raised to t, bacteria per hour after, okay, so uh, let's give it a name, um, f of t, so f prime of t, because it says bacteria per hour, this must be a derivative, is the rate of change, so a bacteria population is 2,000, at uh, time equals zero, and its rate of growth 
is a thousand times four raised to t bacteria per hour uh, or after t hours. Uh, what is the population after one hour? So they want us to find um, f of t and then evaluate it at t equals one hour. Can I find this? Yes, because I'm given a derivative and I'm also given a condition. So this is not a situation of an indefinite integral because I have the limits, I have the limits of integration. So bacteria population is 2000 at time t equals zero. Right? So I can determine the, uh, the most general antiderivative first. So which function prime? So the constant is outside. So now remember which function prime is 4 to t. So that is 4 raised to t divided by natural log 4 plus a constant c. Let me refresh your memory on something here before we continue. When we differentiate e to the x, that's nice. It's e to the x, and I should write times natural log e. The reason why I don't is because it's 1. But if I have any other number to a power, I'm sorry, to different to x to differentiate, I get e, I get a to the x times natural log a. If this is a function, then I also have to multiply by the function prime. So when I'm asked to find which function prime is 4 to t, then when I differentiate this, I get 4 to t times natural log 4 that will go away with the denominator. So please remember this. When we differentiate, natural log is in the numerator. When we integrate, natural log is in the denominator. Okay, now I'm also told that f of 0 is 2,000. It will help us determine the constant. So f of 0 equals 2,000. I will plug it in. f of 0, 4 to 0 is 1, so I have 1,000 divided by natural log 4 plus a constant c equals 2,000. So then c equals 2,000 minus this. So this is our function. We haven't finished. We only determined the function so far. Very nice problem you picked. Thank you. So f of t equals 1,000, 4 raised to t over natural log 4, and plus this, plus 2,000 minus 1,000 over natural log 4. So now they're asking us to find uh, what is the population after one hour? This is the population, not the rate of change, because we determine from the velocity, we determine the distance, if you want, quote, unquote. It's the same process. So now they want us to determine f of 1. Since it's just one value, I'm not going to put it in the table. So I'm just going to, so it's 4 to the first power is 4. So 4,000 divided by natural log 4. Oh, wait a second. So uh, 4,000 over natural log 4 minus 1,000 over natural log 4 is 3,000 over natural log 4. So I don't have to put that in. Okay. Because this is 4,000 over natural log 4 minus 1,000 is 3,000. So I'm just going to do just that. 3,000 divided by natural log 4 and then plus 2,000. And they want, um, at my end, they want a uh, whole number. Okay. So it's a whole number I got 4,164 because it's bacteria. 4,001, that's why we are not supposed to round up or down. So uh, bacteria after one hour. Very nice problem. Thank you. Thank you for picking that.